just. We survived just. Mm -hmm. Our relationship survived just. <laughs> Some kind of gaming is going to be one kind of gaming soon. Hello world, welcome back to Some Kind of Gaming. I've been a big fan of the WarioWare franchise for a while now. Some of the most fun I had back on the Wii was with WarioWare Smooth Moves. So when a new title was announced for the Nintendo Switch, I was pretty excited about it. Personally though, I haven't really had that much fun with the series. My first experience with it was when Tom introduced me to his beloved Wii game, but unfortunately for him I found it a bit pointless and kind of dumb to be honest. So I definitely wouldn't have picked this one up if it wasn't for him. I feel like having these two different points of view actually plays to our advantage though, as we're able to write a pretty honest review from two completely different perspectives. So WarioWare is a first party Nintendo title, but it's definitely not the most successful or well known franchise, so there is a chance that you might not know what it's all about. So if you're curious to find out, then stick with us as we review this hectic fast paced party game. But before we dive right into things, We'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more reviews and video game related content, then please consider subscribing. Wario We Get It Together kicks off in the offices of Wario's development team, where they're celebrating the completion of their latest game. Unfortunately though, it seems the game is a bit more immersive than they anticipated. It starts bugging out and they all get sucked into and scattered throughout the virtual world. You start out as Wario and set about rescuing your team from the bugs that have corrupted their levels. WarioWare as a franchise isn't exactly known for its groundbreaking story or anything like that, but we definitely appreciate its inclusion here. While at times it feels like just a means to an end, it does give the game a sense of purpose and makes completing levels far more rewarding. There are 20 playable characters in this game, each with their own unique moves and playstyles. You unlock these characters by completing levels in the story mode, which compels you to discover them all. Get It Together plays as a series of random micro games. Each of these lasts only a few seconds and gives you little to no instruction. Half the fun, and almost all of the frustration, comes from trying to figure out what to do in the short amount of time allocated to you. Be prepared to fail often. It was actually embarrassing how many times we miserably failed at this. Originally I thought that the game was targeted towards a younger audience, but at the ripe old age of 28, I still found this infuriatingly difficult. There's definitely no real age limit here. If you are finding it difficult, the game does give you the option to continue by spending some of your hard earned coins. Now we will admit that we did take advantage of this a couple of times, but really only when we reach the final boss of each level. <laughs> no, that's where I died last time. I guess I can't be too harsh on you. We should definitely continue that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Sorry for your screaming. As we mentioned before, each character plays extremely differently. This means that just because you've finally figured out what to do in each minigame doesn't mean that you've figured out how to do it. Each game is possible with each different character, but some of them make it so much harder. For example, if you're given the instruction to dodge and you're using a character that can't actually move, <laughs> then you might be in for a little bit of a rough time. It is possible though, so the game's not unfair, just uh, difficult. <laughs> I think that this mechanic proves how much thought went into each mini game design. Each of the levels are intelligently crafted to accommodate for each character and their specific playstyle. No matter who your favourite is, you're able to use them in every situation. There are a huge <laughs> variety of micro games to enjoy here, 200 to be precise. Each of them more random than the last, more mind-bendingly weird, more straight up insane. I mean, honestly, who comes up with these? Some of them seem like they're straight out of the overactive imagination of a six year old. Each level you progress through in story mode presents the player with a new theme. For example, Nine Volts theme is Nintendo inspired, which means that all of the mini games are based on other Nintendo titles. There's a Breath of the Wilds one, a Metroid one, and I bet you never thought that you would be doing a 2D Mario level with a skateboard and a yo-yo. <laughs> WarioWare is definitely designed to be a co-op or party game. This one more so than other titles in the series, as you can play the entire story mode together as a team. Now we have to be honest here and admit that we haven't actually played this one individually. While this did lead to uh, quite a few arguments, we can honestly say that that's half the fun. It is called Get It Together after all. 
Look, I'm sure there is still a bunch of fun to be had here on your own. Don't let us turn you off. I have played other WarriorWare titles on my lonesome and still had a great time. I know it's hard over here in Australia in the moment as we are back in lockdown, but if you can play this one with a friend, then that's definitely the way to go. The main story will only take you about two and a half hours to beat, depending on how many times you use the continue feature or depending on how freakishly good you may be. But there are heaps of other game modes to try and like any good party game, you could potentially play this one indefinitely. We had heaps of fun playing these other game modes as unlike the story mode, they usually pit you against one another. So all that time that you spent learning how to work together is thrown out the window in favor for some good old fashioned rivalry. This is the real party mode, literally being under a banner that says party. <laughs> they managed to take the simple idea of the micro games and twist them into a variety of wacky competitive challenges. For example, Balloon Bang sees each player taking turns to complete a micro game as the other attempts to pump up a balloon. The aim of the game here is to not be playing the micro game by the time the balloon pops. So the faster you can win your challenges, the better. We loved the sense of urgency in this game mode, as even if you consistently complete your micro games faster than the other opponent, there is still a chance that you'll be stuck in there when the balloon pops. Frenemy Frenzy is another party mode that we found quite unique. This game actually gets rid of the micro game concept altogether in favor of a more Smash-like experience where you fight your opponent to the death. Each character can be uniquely useful or useless in this situation. If you do play this mode, we definitely recommend choosing a character that can move freely and that has a better attack than just jump, especially if your opponent drops bombs from above. Yeah, that happened. There is also an online ranking system, perfectly situated for those of you looking to play this one single player. Each week, new challenges will be added and you'll be able to compare your scores with players from all over the world. In our experience, Wario We Get It Together ran smoothly with no loading screens to speak of. Honestly, it would be pretty ironic if a game about fixing bugs and glitches had bugs and glitches, so we're pretty happy to report that this one doesn't. The graphical style is pretty unique here, but should be recognisable to longtime fans of the series. Honestly, it was a little bit unsettling at times as the stylized cartoon characters clashed with the still photographic realness of some of the backgrounds. However, this juxtaposition did set the tone nicely for the rest of the wackadoodle gameplay. The art style differs hugely from micro game to micro game as you are quickly thrust through different worlds. From the beautiful backdrop of Breath of the Wilds to a hand-drawn art style that looks like it was created by a five-year-old. Between this and the funky fast-paced soundtrack, your brain never has a chance to catch up. Wario We Get It Together is a lot of fun and I can honestly say that I have warmed up to the series. My initial hesitations about it feeling a bit pointless and the feelings of unaccomplishment were rectified by the story mode and being rewarded by new characters. And while I do understand that the micro games won't be everyone's cup of tea and the humour might not be to everyone's tastes, you might still have a lot of fun if you give it a chance. I do have a few qualms I'd like to address though. Previous WarioWare titles have taken full advantage of their systems. The Wii entry was obviously pretty heavy on the motion controls, and the DS titles utilised the touchscreen well, even having you blow into the mic hole at times. The Switch is such a unique system, with so many features that could have been taken advantage of. This little bad boy actually has an infrared sensor in the bottom of it that's capable of recognising basic shapes. There's definitely some missed opportunities here. Even some motion or touch controls would have been a welcome addition. Now I do understand that this was done to allow full functionality across the board with the Nintendo Switch Lite, as well as handheld and docked modes. Maybe they could have had some unique micro games depending on your playstyle? I don't really know, I don't have the answers, but I just feel like there were some missed opportunities here. So WarioWare isn't going to win any awards or anything, but it is some good honest fun. And the fact that it's a budget title from Nintendo makes it that much more appealing. So if you haven't played WarioWare before, or maybe you weren't a fan of the old ones, this could be the title to make you change your mind. We're really looking forward to getting out of lockdown so that we can invite some friends over and have some good old silly fun. So what do you guys think? Are you planning on picking WarioWare up for the Nintendo Switch? Or are you going to give this one a miss? Let us know in the comments below. If you are still on the fence about it, there is a free demo available that's definitely worth checking out. Thank you again for making it to the end of another video. 
Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button before you leave. It really helps our channel grow. So as always, I'm Laura, this is Tom, and you've been watching Some Kind of Gaming. I just know you're not the greatest at Excuse Mario, me? so... Excuse me? <laughs> you heard me. It's not very nice. Why, why do we always do that? I'm not the best at Mario. <laughs>